So all month long, we're highlighting wonderful businesses, organization, and people in the counties that make up our viewing area. And today we are showcasing Alamance County. And because I'm here, of course it's a book, of course it's an author. So really excited about this. I love this. Her name is Lee Clark. She's the author of the popular murder mystery series. It's called Matthew Payne Mystery. So you may have heard of it before. Yeah. Maybe. Yes, at very least. good. And, and if you haven't, here it is right here, this whole series. And she's yeah. also an Alamance County native, mm -hmm. which is impressive. Yeah. So let's all say good morning to Lee as she joins us live. She's here to share more about the latest book in the series, which is called Christmas Punch. So perfect for counting down to Christmas. Hi, Lee. How are you doing today? Hi, good morning. I'm great. How good. are you? Good. Well? Yeah, we are. We are doing good. I am so excited to have you here, Lee. Lee and I have been chatting since uh, a bookmarks, the Bookmarks Festival of yes. Authors. Um, and we've been really excited to bring her on the show and introduce her. And, um, and I read these books and love them. So um, I need to know first, of course, how did you come up with the Matthew Payne mystery series? I was working in corporate America for about 20 years doing writing. It's always been part of my career, but it was heavily technical stuff. And this, this scene just kind of popped into my head um, with this character and I couldn't seem to get it out. So in 2014, I thought, I'm just gonna see what, what I can do with this. So I started writing and I wrote a couple of chapters of a book and I was busy. So I put it aside. Um, I picked it back up in 2017 and reread those couple of chapters and thought, this is total trash. Um, <laughs> rewrote them, still busy, put it aside. Um, and then the COVID hit. And when the pandemic hit, I thought, well, this is the perfect opportunity. So in 2021, I picked it back up and I finished the book. Um, and then it was just a matter of would anybody ever want to read this? Um, so I decided to self-publish it and see. And then when people liked it, I already had ideas for the second one, Prefer Death in Mind. And so it just, it went on from there. That is so impressive. And to think that you've done this in sh such a short amount of oh, time once you got the ball rolling. <laughs> I know it was a long process in the beginning, but I love that you stuck with it as well. One of the things, Lee, I have to ask you, without giving too much away, we want to get people to st go out there and get the book. Mm -hmm. Can you sort of share a bit of a tidbit into Christmas Punch? Sure. Christmas Punch is a classic murder mystery that just happens to take place at Christmas time. Um, it's newly released. It just came out this fall. The story takes place mainly in Raleigh, and it's the same um, primary character that was through the others, Matthew Payne. He's a family physician in a tiny little town outside of Raleigh called Peak, North Carolina. And he's attending this big Christmas gala that um, his on-again, off-again girlfriend, Cece's big law firm puts on every year. It's a big deal. And while they're there, somebody calls for a doctor and Matthew does what he always does and rushes in and tries to help. But he gets there too late to be able to save the senior partner. And he looks around and he suspects foul play. So he calls his friend, um, homicide detective Warren Danbury, who he's worked with throughout these, the series of um, mysteries. And Danbury also thinks there's something going on. So they start to investigate. And of course, Matthew gets pulled in just because he was there. He was the first one on the scene. Mm -hmm. But before the book is over, it gets really personal for Matthew and he has to solve this one. Um, all the reviewers so far are saying that they didn't know who the murderer was <laughs> until the end of the book. So, you know, that's really validating for me. That means I'm doing my job. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So how does Christmas Punch compare to the rest of the books in the series? How is it different or similar? Um, well, I mean, obviously it, it is a series. Um, they're all clean, classic murder mysteries, meaning I leave out the gore and anything too awful. Christmas Punch is the fourth in the series and each book though really is designed to stand alone. So it is a series, you can read all the way through them, but each book stands alone on its own and reviewers have said that yeah i didn't ask anybody to say that they did that independently each book provides just enough history and kind of background and you know the relationships and the places and the setting to understand it without the others so i i love it when people read one of the later books and they say oh this was really good i'm going to start at the beginning and binge through the whole <laughs> series I love that, Lee Clark. And Lee, one of the things that these are all—all all these books are your babies, right? Mm -hmm. You uh, took Absolutely. a yeah, you took a very long process and emotional tie to them. But do you have a book that particularly speaks out and stands out to you, just because of the emotional connection that you possibly have to the writing process? 
That's a really hard question. Mm -hmm. um, I had a post up on social media not too long ago because I get asked this question a lot. And the answer that I've come to give to that is, it's like asking a parent, which is your favorite child? <laughs> the first child makes you a parent. So you think I can never not love another child like I love this one. And then you have another child and you're amazed that you absolutely do. So I think it's comparable to this process and you stated it very well that the books are my baby. Mm -hmm. So the first one made me an author, but I really love them all. And uh, you mentioned too that, of course, you self-publish. So can you tell us a little bit about that process and why you decided to go that route? So for any aspiring authors out there, either way, whether you go traditional or whether you go self-publishing, it's a process. It's a, it's a long and arduous process. Um, but my main reason for doing it is because to go the traditional route to get an agent and a publisher can take up to two years. Mm. And my first question was, can I write a book and would anybody want to read it? And I'm just not that patient. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to wait two years from the time I finished my final draft till it went out in print and I could find that out. Um, so I created Cypress River Media, that's just a little LLC company to have my own label so that I could get the book out there and just see if anybody would ever want to read it. Very cool. And that speed is definitely evident in how many books you've been able to yeah. put out so quickly. And can you very quickly, we're running out of time, but could you quickly tell us what's next for Matthew Payne? I'm working on the fifth book in the series now. Um, it's coming out hopefully in the spring, but definitely 2023. It's going to be entitled Iced. Um, I think that's the perfect title for it. And I'm also working on a um, short story that's a prequel to the whole series called Pre-Kill, and it'll only be available if you're signed up for my emailing list, um, which you can do from the website, and that's cypressrivermedia.com. So oh my that's goodness. what's next. We'll be looking for those yeah. for sure. And Lee, it's been such a pleasure to have you on The Local Vibe this morning. We're wishing you much success in the continued <laughs> of your series. And of course, if you want to learn more about Christmas Punch and the rest of those Matthew Payne mystery series, just head over to that website that she just mentioned. It's on your screen now, cypressrivermedia.com. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. It was great to chat with you this morning. Happy holidays. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays.